Hey Brick fans, this is Dave from Brick101, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Minecraft set, The Chicken Coop. This set is number 21140, contains 198 pieces, and retails for about $20 in the United States. There's a link in the description where you can buy this set online. Chickens, 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 chickens! <laughs> so after five years of LEGO Minecraft, we have finally got chickens. Um, this has been a long anticipated mob. I know many people here in the audience have been waiting for chickens for a long time. And now that they're here, they do not disappoint. So LEGO gives us all three important varieties of chicken here. We get baby chicken, which is just two pieces. We get chicken with wings open and chicken with wings closed. Um, so you get three chickens. Uh, the key thing about the chicken is this new piece uh, on the top of the head, which is a really interesting piece. I'll talk about a little bit more in a second. Um, so that's the chicken piece. Uh, and for the two adult chickens, they're on Travis bricks. Yay! Um, and the chicken with wings is using white neck brackets, um, which are 
pretty nice pieces to get as well. So these chickens, in addition to being great to have, also have some great pieces uh, that you can steal for other things. And we don't just get the chickens, we also get the resources that you can harvest from chickens, feathers, eggs, and uh, like cooked chicken, chicken meat. Um, in Minecraft, I tried to play kind of as a vegetarian and not kill animals uh, if at all possible. It was easy to not kill pigs, easy to not kill cows, easy to not kill sheep. Don't really need that, but chickens have that vital resource of feathers that you need to make arrows, so I did end up killing a lot of chickens and I still feel guilty about it. So taking a little bit closer look at this new chicken head piece, um, they did great job getting all the colors right on it. Um, it's white, but then it's got that orangish yellow for the beak, nice printed eyes, um, printed red for the, you know, chicken gobbly thing, whatever that's called. Um, the bottom is really interesting. So you can attach a stud in two places at the bottom, here or here, but it's not two studs wide. It's only about, um, 1.5 studs wide. So this could be potentially used by crazy advanced builders for some kind of weird offsetting technique because this stud is directly above that anti-stud, but like half a stud off uh, from that. Uh, I'm not really good at the crazy offsetting techniques, uh, but I'm sure other people could find crazy uses uh, for this chicken piece to do some weird offsetting. So, uh, interesting. I, for the baby chicken, ended up putting the stud up front. I just feel like that sits better. Uh, but for the others, chickens, uh, it's better to connect it kind of on the main stud for attaching to the bodies. The other mobs in this set are nothing new. We get yet another Alex to throw in our bag of Alex's and we get a tamed wolf or dog, except this one has a blue collar as opposed to the red collar we got on our previous dog. I still can't really pronounce the word wolf, but I hope you'll forgive me for that. Uh, Alex has a iron axe, which we've gotten before, and also has this new piece, which is a printed uh, clear tile that has uh, seeds printed on it. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, seeds are used for luring chickens around as well as getting them to breed. Um, and you could also, of course, plant seeds to grow a thing. So first time we're getting seeds in a Lego Minecraft set. Nice little um, thing that they didn't have to include, but it's definitely a nice addition. Brick 101 presents A Tale of Two Chickens. Once there were two chickens. Look at them, they're chickens. Then Alex came along and fed them some seeds. The chickens fell in love and had a little baby. Then Alex came back and killed one of the chickens. And it dropped feathers and a piece of chicken. And Alex did munch on the chicken and take the feathers to make arrows. The other chickens didn't really notice because they were just chickens. But then the baby chicken grew up into another chicken and then Alex did give the two chickens seed again and they fell in love even though they were parent and child and they had another chicken and the cycle continued forever and thus did Alex have lots of feathers for her arrows. And that's literally what you do in Minecraft. <laughs> At least I did. Uh, so now let's take a look at the build of the chicken coop. Uh, the main feature is the chicken coop. So it's a little area surrounded by fence and then some steps up to this giant chicken, which has a mechanism in it where you can put an egg in there and you can take the top off to better get your eggs in and uh, put the top back on. And then you put a chest down here, which currently has a bone for the dog. And you pull this back and it drops the egg into the chest, which is a nice little uh, play feature mechanism um, for dropping eggs down into a chest. Uh, I assume you could build something like this in actual Minecraft, but I'm not really that good at building mechanisms. I just, uh, you know, go into my chicken coop and 
slaughter my chickens for feathers. Uh, but uh, you could be a peaceful chicken farmer and only get eggs, which you don't have to kill chickens for. Um, so that's the little coop area. Then there's a lot of grass. There's a little banner for chickens over here. And there's the new furnace piece, which we saw previously in the polar igloo, uh, printed differently on two sides for on or off furnace. Um, so that's a nice new addition. Uh, this new grass piece that came in the melon farm as well. A uh, little flower, little water area grass. Uh, but yeah, the little chicken build is definitely nice. Uh, really nice representation of what the chickens look like in Minecraft. Uh, even, you know, better than the um, little representation since it has the feet uh, really nicely done. Um, but yeah, both chickens are nice. Also, interesting thing to note, the fences are changed. If you remember, these used to be um, the brown kind of flower pieces with the four pegs out. They are now a perfectly round brown stud with a hole in it, which is really nice um, because those are super useful pieces and you get a bunch. Um, so looking forward to more fences in Minecraft sets uh, because this piece is definitely even nicer to use than the uh, previous brown piece they used there. Um, so that's a nice new addition as well. So the chickens have a very similar look to the bats that we've seen previously from the mountain cave. Um, you can see uh, they're using you know bricks as their center and they've got uh, the neck brackets for wings. Um, but uh, the bat just has one build and then the wings fold up around it for its kind of closed wing position, which is nice. That doesn't work for the chicken, um, so that's why they have two different builds. Um, but yeah, just kind of similar shape. So I expect uh, if they do parrots, we'll see them uh, do a similar Travis brick. Uh, uh, I think if they ever do parrots, we'll see a similar design of the same size and type of pieces for that. And if you have a baby zombie or baby zombie pig man, you can put that on top of your chicken and create a chicken jockey who can now wreak havoc and get some revenge for Alex killing all the chickens. No, I'm sorry. I just needed feathers to make arrows. You didn't even use those arrows. Ah, what was me? Chicken jockey wins. Justice is served. Overall, I think this set is a great addition to the LEGO Minecraft line. We are finally getting chickens, um, as well as eggs, feathers, um, this great chicken coop and chicken build with a nice play feature built in. Also a great way to get the tamed wolf or dog if you haven't previously. Um, so a nice value and uh, lots of great stuff in this LEGO Minecraft set. And now that Alex's work is done for this review, she can join her sisters in the bag of Alex's next to the bag of Steve's. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Brick101, and check out all our other Minecraft videos.